Hi all, this is Chris Charles with Everyday BBA. In this video, we're going to be doing a practical example of an if, then, an else, if, and then an else statement. So, we're going to dig right in. We've got our Visual Basic Editor open. It's mad at me because um, I was actually inside of a cell. I hate it when it does that. Okay, so if, then, else, if, else is an awful name of a sub of a macro, but we are going to use it. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a message box. Uh, we need to send it to a variable. I typically use inbox. Um, that's just habit. You can do it every M S G B O X M S G B O X. Okay, I know that I got that IntelliSense, so we are good. Prompt is we're going to type in have you subscribed to every can't spell the BBA YouTube channel? Perfect. Okay, we are going to do VB. Oh, yes, no, cancel. Uh, and we're going to, this is title. You'll notice that this is selected here. This is title, so I'm going to put title. Quick question. Question. And then I need to put an in parentheses. The reason I have to have parentheses is because I am tying this to a, um, I am tying this to I'm sending this to a variable, and if you have a variable, you have to have the parentheses. If you don't have a variable, you don't need the parentheses. So um, the reason is is because you're actually passing it to the message box function um, without getting into too much detail. Anytime you pass to a function, um, you have to include it in the parentheses. It would be the same way if you had if you're creating a function or if you had a sub procedure that was passing variables. Um, there's a little bit of two cents for you. All right, so we are going to go if inbox equals VB yes, then MSG box you are awesome. We got to put an exclamation point. That's very important. Else if inbox equals VB no, then I'm going to do MSGBOX equals why not, and then else <laughs> MSGBOX. What just happened? Okay, all right. So you'll notice that I've got my if. I've got my else if, and I actually have an error in this code. Um, and it would be once if we hit go, it was going to give us an error um, function on the left hand. Oh, it can't be equals. That's funny. That was not the error I was talking about. But imagine that if I run this again, it's going to give me an error, and I'm going to get a block if without end if. Now um, you'll notice that I. Put, I put um, a tab in here, and the reason is is because it's easier to read, and I'm going to need to have an end if. So here is your, this is your standard syntax for an if, else if, else end if statement. Now, if it's going to be if the criteria, then do something. So if we hit VB yes, or if we hit yes to this, it's going to give us a message box here, and it's actually going to skip this line. It's going to go right to the and if and keep processing the code. If it does, if VB, if inbox is not equal to VBS, it's just going to go to your next else if and it's going to say, is that equal to no or the consonant seven? And if then, if that's the case, then it's going to be message box. Um, it's going to do the message box. And then this, this else is if anything else happens, right? So if um, you're going to just you're going to display that. So let's just go right through it. We're going to hit yes. Okay. I've hit yes. You'll know the inbox, this variable of six got passed to inbox. Inbox equals six. VBS equals six. I could actually replace this VBS with a six and that would work just fine. It's going to say you are awesome. I'm going to click okay. 
it's going to go to my end if and it's going to end that sub procedure. Now if we hit if we run went through this again and I did no, it's going to say why not and then we're going to end the procedure. I'm going to do that one more time hitting F8 just so that you can see what actually happens. It's going to say hey, O it equals 7 it equals VB VB no equals 7 and it's going to say why not. Like what happened? Let's do this one more time and we're going to hit cancel. I could actually have an else if if it equaled bb cancel, but in this case I'm just doing a doing a you know whatever happened. Um, now the interesting thing about the else statement is it's the catch-all. I mean if if the criteria above isn't met, it's always going to do else. So I could actually put a comment. I could comment my whole message box out. Hit F5 and it's going to say what just happened. And the reason is is because inbox never gets set, so inbox is blank. So it's not equal to yes, blank, it's not equal to no, but we've got a, the collect all or the else statement to cover everything else. So this is really a practical example of how to use the if, if then, the else if, and the else statement. Um, and you're actually using variables. Typically when you're using those if statements, you are going to be using variables and you're going to be running criteria that way. You could actually put those, you could pull those variables off a sheet if you wanted. Um, if statement is very critical in learning to code once you grasp this concept and the syntax um, just know that you are going to have there are going to be common issues that will happen you'll put a space in here it's going to turn red that's pretty common um, the other thing is you forget to put then in there and get an error it's going to turn red um, now you'll notice I don't get uh, I don't get a message box that says you've got an error in that line that's because I took that off in options it's one of the things that just drove, drove me nuts about the default it's a default setting that's just like super annoying. Um, if you want to turn off that, it's in tools, um, options, auto syntax. You take that off, and it'll. I'll show you what that looks like. If you turn that on, I just it gets really. I took it off because it just gets so annoying. Oh, it's you know it says expected then. Now, you know maybe that's. Sometimes those are useful, but a lot of times it's just. It's just difficult. It's just more annoying than anything. So I usually take it off. But here's here again is the if statement. If you can grasp this concept, you can go pretty far with Visual Basic um, in applications. You can do a lot of stuff with Excel. Um, and once you once you understand the if statement, you can basically are right on your way to understanding the do loop, which really that's when that's when VBA gets super powerful. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Please leave comments. If you've got a question or a comment or if you like the video, uh, please let me know. Hope you enjoyed.